morning everybody and welcome back. My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small little business in Mansfield called The Flower Patch. First of all, before we start, let me change my date. I think it's right. Is it the 19th today? If not, never mind, it's ready again, like I say, for tomorrow. Um, and as well, uh, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. I haven't written your name down. I've forgotten I was really busy last night and uh, I will write them down and uh, you know say your name probably you know more than likely tomorrow or Monday uh, we was uh, I was showing you a few things that I did yesterday and I had another private message uh, asking what other colors I do in funeral tribute flowers uh, well after the video yesterday I uh, finished the other flower arrangement uh, for the funeral for a sweet lady friend of mine um, at her sad times. I've asked her permission if I could uh, show it and she's gave me, uh, you know, the nods up and said, yes, you can show absolutely anything you do for me. So I did, I've shown you the one for Nan, which was her mother. So I've after the video, I finished the one for her mum, which she wanted in the opposite colours. So I'll just get it and I'll just show it you. And this is the other colours that I did, apart from the yellow. I do, I do every colour, every colour you could think of. Right, this is the orange one. Um, this is for my dear friend's mum. Like I say, in her sad times, she wanted the orange flowers uh, for the name, and then the yellow flowers on top um, for the for her mum, uh, for her, her daughter's grandma. She wanted yellow flowers with um, orange, sorry, yeah, yellow base, orange flowers. I will get it right. So I'll just show you that one again. Everybody's seen the other one, but for the lady who private messaged me, I'll show you the other one. And that's the other one. That's for Nan, which is from her daughter. And obviously the orange one is from my dear friend to her mum. So I do do them in different colours. And they do come on stands, so when they sit in the hearse, they will sit at an angle like that for you know everybody to see. They won't they won't sit flat. So that's what I have done for my dear friend. So they are all ready for her. Um, I will be saving them for her until she needs to collect them. I do do delivery to the funeral directors, you know, but again, my dear friend said. The funeral director's where her mum, uh, his funeral uh, coffin is going from, is quite far away, so she'll take them. So, let me just move my chair, guys. Because it's in the way, and if the cat comes, he'll want to sit on it. So, yes, they're the funeral ones. I do love hearts. I've done love hearts. Um, I've just done a, a small flat wreath. Um, Jose, uh, also, um, and also the coffin flowers, what go on top of your coffin or your casket. Right, today I promised that I was going to do a small mailbox. Um, what my mum gave me, and I mentioned that the people in America have got better ones than what we've got. You lucky things. Um, and these are small, as I say, not, not like yours in America. But these are some much smaller what go on your wall next to your front door and there is our little mailbox with a key and the lid to put your letters inside um, so i put a little bit of sparkling because on there usually you write your name like you know um or the address to like mine you know davy road or i don't know mrs smith you know in there but I've covered that with a bit of sparkly uh, ribbon I haven't got the key for it my mum couldn't find it so I can hear something slightly in the bottom but I can't get it out I've tried all sorts so whatever it is it stays in there you can put weight on these but they are quite fairly heavy but if you wish to put a bit of weight if you had putting it outside somewhere um, on the floor then put you know stone sand or something like that in the bottom uh, but if you're hanging it on the wall it does have four holes for you to put hooks 
or let on screws or on your wall for you to just sit it on like that and then it'll just stay there so I've cut a little piece of uh, dried oasis and what I'm going to do uh, is force it oh gosh nearly dropped it guys what a go first thing in the morning here we go and I had a good sleep so I didn't think I was going to be clumsy today Oh, well, I'm not going to cut and edit. I like you to see what where I go wrong and how things happen. I'm just human. So, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm going to put that in there and have some of it sticking out. I could put it in there and then cut it flush with the front of it. So, first of all, let me just get it in. Um, I'm not going to put any glue on it or anything because if I put glue at the... Well, I could put glue at the bottom, actually. But if I want to take it out and redo it, um, then I'm going to have to pick the glue off of the bo bottom from the inside. So this will hold it tightly. I've, I have, let me just move my turntable. I have uh, just cut it quite a bit bigger than it should be, just to get it in. So it will be extremely tight. Oh. So, and the lid, as you can see, we'll sit on there. You can glue the lid up to here and hold it up or use a bit of uh, your Oasis Fix Tape and then you can put things along the top. I don't want it to sit there because then it's preventing me from putting anything along the top. So I do want it up there. So what I'm going to do, let me just grab my Oasis Fix Tape which is like putty you just have to you know rub it in your hands a little bit just to warm it up for it basically well, i wouldn't say activate but to just get it warm so i'm going to put that underneath just there so if i stick that there with a little bit coming out and i'll do the other side And again, just roll it in a little ball in your hand. Put another one here with a, again a little bit sticking out for the lid to attach. And then just press the ones on the top. You can cover the green uh, oasis fix, but with your flowers. But that is how I'm going to put it. And once your flowers are here anyway, it will hold it up. So then if you wish, you can remove that. So that's an option for you. Right, let's first of all go through, hopefully without dropping anything, bits of foliage. I've just got out oddments. That's all I'm using because it is small, uh, so I don't need you know, to use big, big uh, new stems. So I have my oddments, obviously, of my lovely rubber fern all the way from, oh, I've got a bit attached to it. The company called Leaf, which I absolutely adore. Uh, there's a bit that's come off, so I'll glue that on before we start. So that's from Leaf, my great rubber fern I do do it in light colours in the Himalayan maiden hair fern that's what it's called um, I've also got some oddments what I've had left I keep finding odd bits to coming off well that one's okay it's got to be this one yep so let me put a new stem on that gosh Things are all going wrong this morning, everybody. So let's push it right down so I can get all the others on. And the very last one I will glue on. Put all your little leaves with the buds on first and then your fern at the top. That's the last one, so let's glue that in. Stop it all coming off of the top again. 
and then push those the rest of them back up to keep them in place so yes as i was saying i've got my little pink uh, grasses with the uh, pods on the top and then the fern where it has a uh, slight pink in you know entwined entwined with it I'd only got found two of, the, two of these pieces of grasses, but I will find a place for those. They're just plain, nothing on them, just very nice and spiky. And then I've got a couple of bits that I found of my Forsythia, which I can cut into smaller pieces with the limey green. And I think that I just love that because the, the leaves are just like flowers. And then just the odd bits. I've got more odd bits of the ficus but I didn't want a lot of them. So I've got the variegated ficus that I'm going to also put, put in with them. And then I found some more of the, the wheat, artificial wheat, three pieces in my oddments box as well. So we're going to use put those in. And I've also found these three pieces of the crocodile fern, also from leaf, which are a plastic feeling as well but flocked at the same time they go from like a green to a, a silvery grey very nice you when you get these they cover up a lot a lot of space so they're very good for fillers and then now these are a different one to the ones i found what was called a rignium leaf so i will have to look up what these are called and I've only found three small little pieces, again, of those. So we're going to use those because they're striking with the veins in, in it. As I said the other day, I love anything with veins. So we will use that as well. Um, and I, for us flowers, I've got some lily of the valley. I have got a bit more in the oddments, but I only took out three with everything else being in threes, apart from, I think, the fern. So we're going to use some Lily of the Valley, which has also got a little bit of lavender attached to it as well. This I used off a vine um, on something. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think it was the bird feeder that I did. That's now sold, everybody. <laughs> Somebody uh, texted me last night, private text me, and asked me if it was still for sale. And I told them yes, so now it's sold. So we used a bit of this on it. So this is a little bit that I must have cut off what I didn't use and put in my oddments. So I may incorporate that as well because it's very similar to the Lily of the Valley. Now these lilac bushes, I've got them in three different colours. So I've, I have cut these off of fresh uh, stems. Um, I've gone take a, let me take the price tag off. Um, I've gone and got one of each colour. I've got the uh, the pink with the white. I've got the purple. And I've also just got the white. Now I will take the leaves off of these because these are the ones that thread. That's why I've taken already one off. I've checked them. Um, they're no good guys. They're horrible. So we don't need those on. They're very thready. So they go in the bin. So I thought just as three different colours, I may grab a, a few more of those. Um, and these was in my oddments as well. Some seeds, hydrangea seeds, apparently what I was told. There could be any seeds, but you know, I'll just call them seeds. And then I've cut these also off fresh stems. Not everything's all oddments. And I've just taken off three of our wildflower. Oh, in purple, deep, deep purple, like a deep purpley blue. They are lovely. And I've also, these was in my oddments, some pink wildflower, which I've used a few times. So I'm also going to, little, little ones, that I'm also going to incorporate into it. Aren't they beautiful? They're like star shapes. I love it like that. I've taken these, these are fresh, as they come this length, uh, my blossom. And they've got like a realistic bark, really brown, 
and I may use just two of those. Uh, I can remember cutting this off of a um, summer vine uh, when I was doing a summer wreath and I just chopped bits off and put them in the vine as they were, uh, in the wreath. I just manoeuvred them about and I thought well that would be nice, just have a little bit of that in it. And last of all, I've got a, just two different colours and I love these, magnolia, pink and grey. And they look absolutely beautiful together. So we're going to use those for definite. So let's get all those flowers again, move to the bottom and bring our foliage as well. Because as you know, guys, I do love space. I don't like to be trapped. So this is what we're going to be using for today. So let's get started. Oh, see, it's already come off. So it's going to stay there no matter what. I've left this coming out approximately two inches. Why is everything two inches when I leave things coming out? It's not that it's a favourite um, depth of mine, but I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to cover it because with everything we've got, that will cover it for us. So guys, first of all, I want to start putting in our fern. I've seen the mailbox uh, designs, what you have in America, and they are wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to put that, and it doesn't matter if these some go out through the bottom into the space, it doesn't matter at all, you won't be able to see them. Put this one just shorter than the other one. And I'm going to hang that just like that next to it. I'm just going to dot a few of these around. And as I say, remove any excess glue so you can still position flowers and it won't be hard, the glue. this one and I've cut this one quite short in fact let me put a new stem on it I don't like that stem oh I've just broke it I am having a rubbish day I have just broke I've just broke it and I've ripped the wire oh well 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 what a morning Never mind, all is good. And I'm going to put that one as well, just there. Uh, I'm going to cut this one shorter, reason being I want this to go underneath. Oh, it's party night tonight. Oh my goodness, I am so, so looking forward to this. Them ladies over the road are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, I've been preparing myself because I know what they like. There's going to be a day where I will do a wreath. I know in America they're very popular and you may not uh, be as interested uh, because you've seen a lot of them. Uh, you know, but uh, as I say, uh, Julie did wonder if I did deco mesh wreaths. They do, they are, they can be time consuming uh, depending on what you're actually doing. 
So um, I may already prepare the majority of the uh, wreath. I'll just do a ruffle one, you know, first, and uh, or a fluffy one, whichever you want to call it, and then add in uh, my florals. You don't have to. You can add in just ribbon and use it. I've done those as well. But I thought adding a bit of floral is nice. Like I say, I know in America they're really, really big, you know. But it's just a request off of somebody, so, or, you know, a question. So I thought I'd show you that I do do them. So I'm going to now get my grass. And I'm going to put that here where that can stick out. Just then, give it a bit of spikiness. I'm going to cut this one quite short. Because I've only got two, I'm going to bring this one under the bottom on that side. Now let me put my wheat in. Don't you think it's fabulous? Artificial wheat, they've really come on far with all the artificial flowers, especially when I was younger. When I was younger, they did oh, they weren't very good quality, you know. Some were, don't get me wrong, you would but you would have had to pay quite a bit of money for the, the better quality ones. But now, even the cheaper stuff uh, still look realistic. They are plastic. I know there's a big thing with plastic, you know recycling i do recycle and i'm going to put that one hanging it's just going to be at the top if i want anything you know glued onto the lid at the top then i you know for example let's have a quick look is if i want one of these uh magnolias gluing on the top then i'd i would i'd glue it on the top they are beautiful. Oh, so I've got another one. Let me get my turntable. Let's just have a look. See, that one's quite long, so I may put that one up there as well. Because so I've cut it as low as I can. It won't go much, you know, any further. And I'll just have that hang in there. At the moment it looks like it's just all spikiness, but once all the flowers will be in, it'll take that, you know, look away. Yeah, we're going to put that in between the fern. This one, <coughs> excuse me. Got a glue string, I can feel it at the top. It's only going to be a little video today, guys. Um, I've got a lot of work on. So I'd rather get the video done in the morning and then post it in the evening after I've finished work. I've got to do a Halloween wreath for a shop. Uh, a store that sells uh, lotions and things like that. And it's doing Halloween lotions at the moment. So I'm doing a wreath go in above all the Halloween lotions. Now, oh, let's just put that one back. Bring this foliage up here. As you can see, it's already getting full with the, uh, with the foliage. I may sit that one like that. Yeah, I think I'll sit that one like that. Instead of sitting it down off, 
hanging. I'll, I'll have one at least standing up. So just put it in there and then just slightly bend it back if it'll go with it having a funny lid. If not, then you can always glue it onto the lid. I may have to glue that. So let me get a, my glue stick and just put a bit on the stem at the back. Just so it attaches itself. Remove any glue strings from the back. There's one there. Before it dries. Like that. And then I do have two. They are very, very big. So I may not use actually all of them. I may just use it there. I wonder if it looks nice. Right, yeah, I'm going to put them all at the top. You wouldn't believe it, guys, already I've put that glue in, or those 75 sticks of the uh, Gorilla Glue, and I'm already, uh, I'll be on my last packet when I put the other one in, so I will have to order some more already. So... I mean, I glued all the funeral flowers in, so, you know, that didn't bother me using it for that. It was the thought, the heartfelt, uh, you know, sympathy for, towards the family. So, nothing's too much, especially when it's a funeral or anything else. But funeral, as I've stated before, you seem to put a bit more of your emotion, your compassion, your love into it you know, for the families. Right, let me just remove that glue so it doesn't drip off. I've accidentally forgot to remove the glue on one of them and I'll show you this so I won't be able to put anything close up to that because the glue has now hardened. So, I'm making a few mistakes today, guys. Must be because I'm excited about the party. But as you can see, some glue just there has hardened. So if I wanted to insert anything there, there'd be no chance of me putting a stem inside there, excuse the glue on my nails, inside there because the glue has set. That's why I stay, you know, if you can, try to remove the glue because it prevents you from putting things right in that position next to that. But, We'll have to just carry on now, it's just set solid. It's another mistake, so Julie, <laughs> I hope you're having a good chuckle over this. Especially when I did the uh, hanging basket and I made you jump. I bet this one made you jump too, when I nearly uh, dropped it again. I've never done anything like that in my life, nearly dropped anything. So, I'm going to cut this one down and I'm going to have some little ones of the ficus just popping out. So remove the glue. in moss as well you know you can cover it in moss there's nothing uh, you know stating that you can't I just don't want to on this with it being so small and also majority of everything that I've got here will definitely you know hide the oasis I quite enjoy working backwards it's really good I want something here with all these, some a different texture of leaf. 
Right, what about these? I'm going to be looking up these. You see, when I was a florist, I dealt in um, flowers and quite foliage, not house plants. Uh, so to I'm learning as well concerning the house plants. These are belong to a house plant. So I do search, have a look, and then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, guys, try to remember the name. I'm not. I'm all right concerning flowers. What I did in fresh flowers and things like that. That's not a problem. House plants, so especially just leaves. Um, I am still learning those, but it won't take me long because I'll insist that I will remember. I challenge myself to remember. So, but if you just you know stick with me, guys, and then you will get to know what they are because I will research it that's the sort of person I am I don't like to do work and not know what things are and especially if customers ask and they also want to know right I'm going to put this one at the bottom Just like that one. It gives it a lovely effect with the veins in. And I've got one more. Turn them around your leaves to give them a fuller look. I tend to make them like that. So it always looks fuller. And it covers more as well. The one at the top. I think that's slightly bent over a bit much. Just bending the top of the stem to, to make an art a loop because there's no nothing to stop it from falling off. So if I create a loop to keep it, you know, in, I'm going to put that right in there, like that one. You see, and that's looking much more fuller with you know even just with the foliage if you just want you know green foliage i mean i love foliage i really do love foliage uh, because green is my favorite color out of everything i may say that oh i love the pinks i'm a pink person or i'm a yellow person bright and sunny but overall green green's just me i, I love it i find it a very very refreshing color and the different shades you can get in it I mean you can in flowers and the different textures it's just super if it was up to me I'd have green you know in my house all over we've got plant real plants in this house palms and things like that what are huge <laughs> what have really grown big um, and they're beautiful so I'd have all my walls matching the plants if it was down to me. Right, I'm going to put a wire on these because these, are the, what I'm cutting off the main stem, haven't got any wire in at all. So that's a green stem, so we want green tape. Right, let me get the one that I like to use the best. which I could, I tend to with this one, I can work much faster with this one. With the one for the corsages and that was a sticky, um, I tend to uh, be a bit slower because it, it's sticking to my fingers. That's the only reason. It's not that I'm slow with it, it's just because it's sticking to my fingers. It, You know, I'm forever taking my fingers off of it. But with this, there's no stickiness. bit of that in with that and let's just have a look to see I think we're going to put one at the bottom I'm not going to have it the bottom bit on or we'll cut that off take any prongs off I've got 
got nothing on you know you want it for looking good for your customers I mean you can get these mailboxes anywhere absolutely anywhere any any store homeware store um, Argos Amazon eBay you know absolutely you just look and put mailbox what mount wall mounted mailbox and they will flood up and i'm going to go underneath and let that hang at the bottom and that's not come up at the top because as i pushed it in i twisted it bent it over so it's gone to the back i may not put at the moment rest of my ficusin and we'll just wait for that let's start with our flowers so we'll bring those up again we may not use all of these but i do want to put in the main ones first which are the magnolia and then work around the magnolia i hope you can see that so i've got a bigger head and a smaller head i've only got two of these out because I've, I, you know, I'm mixing them with these. But these are from Dunhelm, seven pound a stem, and you get, I think, about three or I can't see because they're right at the back. But about three to five flower heads on them, so they can be quite expensive. I think that looks lovely in the centre, and again, it's covering. I'm going to take the magnolia leaf off and I am going to save that because I love them, how they are green on one side and this is in, also in real life, green on one side and then brown on the under. I just love them. So I'll cut that off because I don't want it and I'm going to cut this down. I've done a wreath, for a funeral wreath with magnolias in. Wonderful, wonderful effect. Just grab that bit of glue, I can see. And then just sit it like that. I could put a, I may put a ribbon on the top. Uh, I have been looking at what sort of ribbon. So I find pinks and greys really, if you think about the flowers. Yeah, pinks and greys more than anything. So I will have a look and I may put one on. So I could put that one hanging at the bottom. So again, take off the leaves and save them, everybody. They are wonderful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue the leaves on to a wire pick. And I'm going to save those got three of these actually all this glue and plus if you're doing a, uh, a lantern or anything and you need to cover your mechanics up at the back these are lovely for doing that they're very they're quite big you know and they will cover it So there we go with those. I won't throw them away. I may have another one because I may have some more. Oh gosh, I can't get it off. Spend all my day gl uh, removing glue. Right, let me see how long. Yes, I think that would look nice. I'm going to keep one leaf on. And then I'm going to go underneath again. Like that. I hope you can see. I'll bring it closer. So that's how we've got so far with all, all your, group, well, majority apart from the rest of your ficus leaves in. And uh, now we're starting to put the magnolias in. You have plenty of space in between to put the rest of your things. 
Now on this one I've got boards as well. So they come attached because in like I say in transit. If I show you, I'll show you because on the other one you couldn't really see it when I analysed the video. But on this one you can. Let me bend that over before I show you, just so we can. Let me cover the leaves so you can see. Oh my good gracious me. Right, in transit, they come with this attached from one stem to the other. And that's just to keep the flowers together while in transit. All you have to do is just pull them off. They don't affect it, they don't, you know, tear the stem or anything. Just pull them off. On the majority of your flowers, you may find these on them. And that's that's just all they're for, is for your transit purposes. I think this pinks are lovely. I want to incorporate them alongside or around There. So if I just put one there, and then maybe one coming out there, slightly in a bit, I guess. And then, like I say, I've got boards. I've got another one, so I'm going to use a three. That I might put then in between. Or oh. oh my goodness, here we go again. I should have put some weight in it. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one at the top. So that's what we're going to do with these. I do quite like that idea. I think I'm going to remove these bottom leaves cut the prongs as well so just fluff them up I'm going to put that there And again on this side, I'll just move that to see where I'm going to place it. Put some glue. And then the final one, I don't want it that high. Oh my God, I am having one horrid, mistaking day today. Don't know why. Oh, don't that look pretty? Now I have the buds on these, so I may dot a few of the buds around too. So let's grab a few off. There's one I especially do like at the top. That, take them all off. We'll use the whole stem. I don't want these leaves. Let me just check. Oh no, they don't fray, so we will say put those there. As I say, some of them do. I like that. I really do like that. And I think that would look nice at the back of this one. So I'm going to place that there again. Just like that. That sort of like gives it the finishing at the top. And as you can see with the pink ones, I've, I've gone in a, a triangle, uh, the triangle shape. I haven't with these, but I'm still working in odd numbers, three, four, five. And then with these, that's a whoop. The, the single boards, I've only got three. 
and of the double board I've got one so it's all odd I'm going to put some double boards at the bottom to you know have a little bit of a pink next to the bottom of these uh, the grey magnolia just stick that one there just slightly cut that bendy bit off Let's have a look. Lift it up and have a look where you can place it. And that one there. So I do have one left. And with this one, I'm going in the centre. So I'm going to cut the stem shorter. And I will have this just sticking out for another little bit of effect in between the magnolias. Like that guys. So I will pick it up and I'll show it you. Don't they look pretty blue? Uh, Greys and pinks, absolutely always a very subtle colours, like greys, like the magnolias and that, and pink. And they always are very 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 subtle colors and blend in perfect i love doing grays and pinks right we now have finished with our uh, those and we will move on i may not put these blossoms in because they are quite oh then again oh gosh guys here we go i'm going to change my name to mrs change your mind now let me just see, I don't want them to look odd, yes I know what I'm doing with those, I'm going to have one here at the bottom and I'm going to mimic it going right to the other side and I'm going to push that in so it's coming down like you would on the, swan, uh, on the lantern when you do it like that and that's what we're going to do. Right, these stems aren't very supportive, so let's have a look. Right, I need pot tape on these because they are really, really thick stems. What colour? Oh, I've not got brown pot tape. I've only got the coarse size. Well, so on this occasion, guys, sorry, but because the Pot tape is the, the strongest out of all of them. I'm going to have to use the green. I'm going to see if I can grab some uh, brown pot tape actually. I've never even actually looked for it, but I'm sure there will be some because the stems, like I say, are really thick. And to put something like a corsage or anything on it, it's really not going to hold it guys, it's going to start flopping inside. So we'll do that. This tape that I got from my wholesalers is really strong because you can't, you know when usually with your tapes you can tear them with your hand. That one is quite hard to tear with your hand. Um, and we'll do the same with this. Take that off. So it, that just shows how strong it is. If anybody's seen any brown pot tape and where to get it from, oh, let me know. It does save me searching. <laughs> I will still search. If I don't, you know, nobody knows themselves. I will still, I will search. Yeah, it's very thick and it's heavy. This is quite heavy. Oh, my sister-in-law came round with her husband last night to uh, eat with us. Oh, we had a fabulous time. Really funny, really funny. We're laughing. 
Oh, I just love it when she comes. I don't like it when she goes home. <laughs> so, and then I've got the party tonight. Oh, busy as a bee, me. I hope they're not wanting me to sing, especially if I'd had a few uh, drinks. Oh my gosh, I'll be all over the place. I'm not a big drinker, I'm really not. I don't I don't usually drink. So you can imagine how many it'll take for me to be drunk. One glass of wine and I've gone. <laughs> so that's that one at the top. I just slightly cut this one at the bottom as well. And we're going to go in, just follow the angle. Let me just push it a bit more. Like that. I could push it a bit more actually. Now I've come out of the oasis the other side. So let me just chop the stem. It's not sat in hot, you know, well enough. So we'll, we'll do it again. There you go, everybody. Now, how's that looking? Very pretty, very pretty. Yes, I like that. I don't know now if I'm going to use this. No, we won't use that. I'm trying to stick to delicate things. You know, with these being quite big, I don't want something big so it's hiding them. Yes, I'm going to put a couple up here with the lavender in. See a cute little gap. And now we're putting things up here. The Oasis pot uh, fix tape that I put in no longer needs to be held in because now all the flowers and the foliage are holding it upright. So I'll take that out shortly. We'll put another one. Don't you just love Lily of the Valley? In fact, I'm going to stick that there. Yeah. I think I had another one. Yes, so I may put that one on that side along with that. These have only wired on the main stem. There's, n there's no wire all the way up here at all. That one looks loose, so I'm going to glue that one on. Put that now. What I'm going to do is thread it around a couple, uh, one of the crocodile fern leaves. So I've got a little that's if it will hold. Yeah, oh, very pretty. Right, do I try these? See, because I've got different colours, I have to just be careful where I place them so it doesn't look too much. We're missing something at the bottom because we've got flowers here and here. 
we really need to be putting something and i don't think the deeper purple looks very good down at the bottom i'm thinking concerning a bit of the wildflower yeah take these out for the for the moment mm. Now this hasn't got a stem on it, a wire in the stem. So I'm going to do the same with this. Hot tape it, because it's it's hanging, it needs a bit of support for the weight as it hangs. let's see yeah at the bottom it's not hanging too low yes it is so I'm going to cut the stem shorter I don't want it to hang too, too low. Just something slightly different at the bottom. I don't know whether to put the seeds in. But then again, they do give off a great texture. I think I am. I think I am. Before we put these in, let's get the seeds in. And I'm going to take all these little prongs off. Again, there's nothing else on them. There's nothing else I'm doing with them. Well, we've got showers here today and at the moment it's only 17 degrees, uh, which is in the early 60s, I think, if I'm correct, Fahrenheit, so not very warm. Again, you can see blue sting right under here. This is what I mean when I go through it, you know, after I will get the brush out and I will do it a full full clean and sometimes I will also steam it while I'm you know as I'm after I took the brush off I will steam you know to give it that cleanliness because I've been messing about with it you know and I've had glue on my fingers so I will steam it as well so I do take care with the uh, you know people's uh, arrangements even like if i say it's a display i do exactly the same i don't uh, not take care like the buddha's head that we had yesterday uh, this morning i gave her a steam clean as well as a brush all throughout and now she's got nothing that I catches my eye that's dangling because usually you see it dangling here or deep within or under here, you know, anything like that. But now when she's had a fresh clean, so she has had a proper makeover, better one than I get. <laughs> but yes, I do take pride in, in my work. Yeah. We're just covering the centre of this magnolia with the berries, or seeds, should I say? I'm only, like, so I'm only putting three in. Um, it doesn't matter which way your triangle sits. You haven't always got to have it top, bottom, bottom. You know, you could turn your your arrangement around 
top, bottom, bottom. It really doesn't matter as long as you have, well, I'm not saying you've got to, it depends on what you're actually doing. Um, then, yeah, as long as that triangle shape is in there, it always seems to balance itself out. So, now I want to bring some pink on this side because there's pink here, here, here and here. There's no pink really apart from the little very light baby board along the bottom around here. So we really need to incorporate some pink because otherwise it looks like the arrangement is all at the top and it looks semi-finished that you've still not finished, completed the bottom of it. That's why I tend to make sure that even if I laid it down, you can lay it down and work flat if you like, that I get colour spread it around to give them each their own individual space. It's quite easy actually working this way. As I work, I do, while I'm looking at the arrangement, I do look at the same time for the glue strings. It's, it's, it's not that I was taught to do it like that, it's become a habit. It really has become a habit. I'm going to put one here as well. I will show you everybody. Put the purple there. You see, I may not, I may put the purple behind. Give elongate that. But I love these. I love the little, I love wildflowers, meadow flowers, wildflowers. I just adore them. I'm cleaning stems, my thumb. I'm surprised it's not hard as rock. <laughs> Working my thumb to clean the stems. <laughs> it's great fun though, everybody. It really is. It's great fun. Right, that one's not a very good leaf on the bottom. So we're going to remove that. Cut the prong off. I don't know what you call them in America. If you call them the prongs as well, that stick out. Uh, Irma, you ought to let me know. You know what you call them. I'm not sure. Oh, and could I just say, uh, a lovely lady, Jenny Boyce, uh, sent me a photograph last night, private messaged me, of the candlestick holder that I did. Um, I have it here still. Um, that I did on the bird stand, uh, the bird stand, the bird feeder with the candlestick and I attached them. She had a go at hers, what a customer had ordered. She couldn't get the bird feeder but she just used a round cylinder oasis which I've got you know as well which you tend to buy little things like that. Sent me a picture with the feather zip. Oh my good gracious me, Jenny it was fabulous. I, you, it might not have been your style, as you said, but I love absolutely anything. Feathery, wispy. I loved it. I really did love it. And I even showed my husband and he went, oh. <laughs> so keep up the good work. You was do, you're doing fabulous, Jenny. I really, really did like it. And I bet your customer, like you said, was absolutely loving it. And that's what matters. It's what your customer wants, what they like, and, and to give them what they like. And to see that smile on their face, Jenny, that's all you need. So, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, my darling. You know, don't ever stop. Don't stop your good work. And that includes absolutely anybody. Never stop your good work. There's, a, there's the odd ones where you'll get a constructive criticism, what they don't like, but don't let that offend you. Don't let it put you down and make you want to stop. Because again, like I've repeated many times, there's lots and lots of people out there what will like what your other customer may not have liked. And that is, and the odds against that is more people will like it than not. So you're at a win-win no matter what. So, great stuff. In fact, I might make one with feathers in now. You've got me starting. 
I'm going to show you these where I've positioned these guys because I've only got one left. So I thought while it's flat down on the floor, I may as well just insert them. Why it's in a good position and I can see this, you know, the oasis underneath. Right, that's all the wildflower. Oh, isn't it lovely? And that's how it's, what it's looking like. I'll, I'll move it around, guys, because I'm not sure whether the camera can get absolutely everything in. So I'll just move it in a slightly different direction than the slow, slow motion. Sort of away. And then up there. Oh, glue string. I always seem to find a glue string when I show it you. Oh, another one. <laughs> so, yes. And at the back, that's all you're looking at because that will be on the wall, you know, or up against a wall or even in your house. You don't have to have it outside. Even in your house, maybe, you know, have a couple of ornaments above, below it. And this is your main ornamental feature at the top. And that would look lovely up against a wall in the house. It really would. So now we've got the purple wild flower. I've only got three. I really don't think I'm going to use these, everybody. Apart from maybe the white one at the bottom here. I don't think I'm going to use those. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's think we need something. If I just place. And again, like I say, I've got some more of these. Maybe upright, more upright. And there's no, there's no wire in these either, apart from the main stem. So there's not enough that you can't manipulate them. You just have to allow them to just droop over in the position that they want. You can cut them. Uh, they are push. Uh, I think they are push up. Yes, they are. To a certain height, because they've got a bud there, so you can't go no further than that. Um, so you can push them up so far. And I might try that actually by pushing them all up a bit closer together. Let's take that one on at the moment. Cut this, because this one might be better with it all pushed up. Yes, definitely. We're going to put one at the top for definite. And we'll just slip that where I can see a little bit of oasis there. And give it, give the pink something to bounce off and something deep to bounce off. So I'm going to do that with all of these, is push them up as far as I can. Now there's something wrong with that one, so that one I can't push it more than that. But this one, let's have a look. Push that up to there, then the leaf, then the other flower, then the leaf. We'll cut also. Now let me have a look where I'd like this one to sit. You see, I could have them where they're all... Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I should. Yeah, I'm going to put them around at the back. Because if you look around the back, it's now... The pink is all bouncing. The light colours are all bouncing off of this dark wildflower. So I'm going to place these at the back. Move that out of the way. And sit there and spread it slightly. Somebody asked me if I ever clean my glue pan out. No. Simple answer, no. Uh, because once you switch it off, 
you need to clean it out, you've got to empty all the glue while it's still hot into something that won't melt. It won't melt the, a tub or, you know, a plastic tub, it will melt it. So you need something quite solid uh, to put it in to clean it out. So I've never cleaned it out. Um, it's not a bad thing. You know, it's, it's really not a bad thing. But I don't clean it out because it is quite a messy job. Just move that, that seems to be leaning a bit too much for my liking. That's better. Right, I can see gaps there. So that's maybe where we may add the white. If you look, I'll there's gaps under there. So we still have plenty of uh, room to put all other bits. So if you don't want to do that and you just want to put your foliage, like I've cut these and put these on stems your magnolia leaves you could add them but turn them the opposite way around and give the brown effect as just something different so let, again let me just sit that down so i can see oh yes oh yes the brown effect looks lovely we're gonna use them take that off If I place these, I'm going to push them quite far down. You may not be able to see them. If I do that, bend it over, cut the stem. And again, all I'm doing is bending it over because by putting it in like that, it just sticks out like that. So I'm bending it over that way so I can see the brown. I know you can see the, the spine of the leaf, uh, but I'm not so bothered about that because it's the effect I like. So we're going to do the same with that one. I'm going to put that just want to make sure it's not taking up too much no if you can see that I still need to put something in the center I think of the um, of the magnolia leaves so I think let me have a look what do I I'm sure I've got white magnolias. I have. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, here I go. Bursting out. White magnolias. I could put a white magnolia. Hmm. We're going to take the big one off at the bottom, I think. Or will that, no, that one will hide. So let's have a look at the next size up. Oh, it may end up being the little one, everybody. Have I got a smaller one on the one what's slightly opening? Hmm. Have I got a smaller one for medium one? I'm going to use this. Yeah, I'm going to use that. So we'll put those back. Now I'm going to sit that in the centre of that. So let's just slightly cut it again. Give it a smaller stem. Now just put it here where that oasis was that we could see. Um, put it down a bit deeper and use that as depth yes you see now that has covered the majority of the oasis that you can see now isn't that lovely a 
I've just got a little bit more around here, as you can see, that I want to cover up. So with that, I may use some more greenery. I've got to keep that careful because it's got no weight. The weight's all at the front. I don't know why I didn't think of it. It must be one of those bad days for me. And here's me loving Saturdays, especially tonight. Ficus. Not ficus. Salal. My dear, dear favourite Salal. There we go. That's it. That's that's covered what we needed to hide for the customer. Let's just check. Right, there's one there. Look, we're going to get another one there. Check this side. Now that one's really full. We can't get anything. Well, we could if we squeezed it in, but then it would look too too much. So we're going to just get a couple more of the salal and put those in. My dear, dear favourite Salal. Right, let's take two off. I don't want to put things like um, ferns in because at the end of the day, uh, the ferns are wispy and airy. So you're still going to see the uh, oasis. So something what's you know wide like that, a fuller leaf will cover that oasis, saves you putting more and more and more in until you've actually covered it. You know, because I've done that before, tried it out to see the effect, and you're just constantly filling it until you hide your oasis. And uh, yeah, and that's that's not good because you're wasting money what you could easily save by putting just like I am two stems of a slal or any other foliage with broader leaves even it could be uh, sage leaves it could be orange leaves it could be magnolia leaves uh, anything like that anything bigger you know just by putting an extra two in to hide it will save a lot of time and money have a look and there you have it now just two pieces there so if i was putting wispy bits in like this i'd still be able to see the oasis so i'd keep putting in and keep putting more in but just using two little pieces finished it finish that that gap there's none that side there's none underneath and we have a beautiful mailbox flower arrangement now i hope you like that I could have put a ribbon on. Um, I've said I may put a ribbon on, but then if you think about it, you're not really going to see the ribbon. So if you did want a ribbon, I suggest bring it down here and have tail ends hanging down, or maybe you know at the side, or but at the top because you've got a height, you won't see it. You really won't. So that is today for our Saturday's uh, little mailbox arrangement. I'm not going to add those uh, the others in. It's you know they're just not fitting in nicely how I'd like them. I'm very fussy, very very fussy. If I don't think it looks good, it's out. I don't. I used to doubt myself, but now if I'm in doubt, I take it out. That's it. No more. I don't question myself about it. And that's if you always think like that. If in doubt, take it out. And then. You won't be then after thinking, oh, I don't really know if I like it. Take it out. Honestly, guys, please. I've made many, many mistakes when I've left them in. And they've been stood and not sold. So um, I've learnt from my mistakes. So, yes. So that's our arrangement, like I said, for today. I was thinking, like I say, I, I will do eventually one of those little... Um, oh wreaths with the deco mesh um but i was thinking i've got these little baskets they're only 15 centimeters in width the length is 15 and the height is 15 so it's 15 by 15 by 15 and they say on it home it's a little wicker basket and i love them 
So you could either make a little meadow. In fact, I've got another basket. I was deeply considering, if I just show you, I've, let me just take my things out, because I've put a few things in just while I'm busy. If I just take it out, and then I will show you what it's on. I do have that. Let's put her here. And I do have this one. This is a proper, you know, really solid. Uh, I got that off Bella's wholesale when she was doing online. I don't, I think she don't do them anymore. She's, once they went, they went and that was it. She wasn't getting any more in. Um, so I grabbed, I've only grabbed one, um, but yes, that could be a nice summery effect where you have your flowers just coming out one side and perhaps a bow here. That would look lovely. And then this could also hang on your wall and you could do, you know, just have meadowy flowers sticking out. So I can't make my mind up which one I want to do. So um, we'll see, depending on what I'm doing, you know, tomorrow. But yes, there's basket effects. You can get other type of baskets, you know, if you just search for them, you can get the ones that are laid down flat where your flowers come along, you know, and lie flat. So yeah, I've done a few of those as well. And I am considering when also uh, all my fruit arrive, that I may do a, um, a festive um, fruit basket. And I may do one of those as well for you. Because I'll be then, when, as soon as they arrive, I'll be dying to use them. So, yeah, I've got a few options that, uh, you know, tickering around in my mind. So again, if you enjoyed this and you can, you've found a, uh, a mailbox or you have one yourself that you don't use, it's in the garage or in the shed, dig it out. If you don't like the colour, it's a bit rusty, just sand it down a little bit and then just spray it a colour what can be sprayed onto tin or whatever material it may be. And uh, and then do your arrangement. And then you can reuse it and put it back on your wall or in your house, whichever, you know, is takes your fancy. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. And please subscribe and share to your friends and family. I love all your messages and I love all your pictures and I love that one you did, Jenny. Uh, so. Thank you so much for your questions as well and uh, I hope I answered them for you, you know, and gave you some ideas and helped you out. So uh, I'll see you again tomorrow guys. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day because I, after I've done finished something off, I'm going to be getting excited for the party later on. I can't wait. Lovely. Right. Again, oh, see, again, nearly did it again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I should have put weight in it. I should have put weight in it. But anyway, I'm not going to touch it no more. Take care, everybody, and have a safe day. Bye bye.